dragon legs are hard. Now, if you're anything like me, you, uh, when you were little, you didn't really pay attention that much when you were drawing to how, kind of how, like, the musculoskeletal system of, uh, animals and creatures that you were drawing would work. Um, and you just kind of like put a leg here because it looked cool and you put a wing here and it looked because it looked cool and whatever but um, unless you were that really smart fourth grader that walked around talking about plasma and basic trigonometry but anyway um, today I'm going to hopefully show you guys how to draw uh, legs and specifically dragon legs that look a little bit more realistic in terms of their muscles and kind of paying more attention to how their uh, body would actually work in real life. So that's what I'm hoping to show you guys today. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Show you how to draw the uh, foreleg and hind leg or the front leg and back leg of dragons um, in respect to their kind of natural uh, function. If dragons were real, this is how they would work in real life. Um, at least I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, and yes, I am wearing pajama pants. Don't judge me. It's quarantine. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the foreleg or front leg. Um, and when I draw dragons, the foreleg is usually, um, it's usually I usually set it up more like a human arm because I mean that's kind of how we refer to them anyway. Like we, we with a lot of animals, we refer to their front legs as arms. I don't know why. That's just kind of how humans' brains function, I guess. But, um, yeah, so with our front leg, uh, I'm not one that really gets into basic shapes, but your basic shapes that you're going to use are basically all just ovals when you're drawing this. So you're basically going to just draw a bunch of ovals and circles almost like this when it comes to drawing your front leg. That's kind of how it uh, looks. So usually with my drawings, I just kind of, you know, get right into the drawing and don't really pay much attention to drawing out all the circles and then connecting them up with the main lines and then erasing all the circles. It's just, <laughs> it's too much for my little tiny brain to handle. So um, yeah, so what I do is I just draw out our little shoulders as a little curve and then start out doing the bicep and then come in with the rest of the uh, shoulder by adding the little underarm piece right here, bringing, bringing in the rest of the shoulder and then curving out the bicep a little bit more like this and then bending the tricep out uh, like almost a little bit of a sharper edge here and then uh, and then my brain always easily gets distracted and I go ahead and do all the details um, before I finish the basic thing so you just go ahead I just go ahead and draw a little shoulder line there that marks where like the um, I don't really know what it's called but the the tip of the shoulder here and then I draw in the light line that shows the tricep and then the light line that shows the bicep and then the elbow is just kind of mimicking the shoulder a little bit it just kind of it looks very similar in terms of how you draw it and then you curve it out a little bit starting the forearm and just bring the whole thing down and kind of bring it inwards as you're going down and then I always draw little lines to kind of show the bones the bone structure I guess the bone and muscle structure in there and then for the paw or hand or whatever you want to call it call it um, he's got I'm gonna kind of mimic this design that I just showed you um, with the basic shapes and just kind of curve his hand down like this and then we're going to draw his little fingers in there and put his claws on the end 
And the fingers, I really like drawing dragon fingers or creature fingers because they can be really expressive. You can have them in this kind of thing to show like fierceness or anger. You can have them kind of relaxed. But uh, depending on how you want your dragon or creature to look, uh, you can put your fingers into different um, positions. So drawing out the undersides of the fingers, usually I give them four uh, toes slash fingers on the foreleg and uh, maybe a little, th and usually it's a little thumb as the fourth. And then draw the lines that are the tendons here on your hand when you stretch out your fingers like that. And that just kind of adds a little bit more detail. So there's our foreleg or front arm and a few different things you can do with the hand is make it, if he's on the ground, you can do something like this where his fingers are kind of bent forward and resting on the ground. like so, something like that. Um, and then you can also make him kind of have an angry kind of look to his fingers, you know, he's kind of like grasping for something, whatever you want. And then so now we're gonna work on the back leg and I guess I'll do this same thing for the back leg. It's gonna be kind of similar. You're gonna have a, a big circle here. Um, and then something along the lines of this. And there's what the back leg would normally look like, just like this. So when you're gonna work on the back leg, you need to grab his, kind of where his leg would be attached to the main body, and then work on some kind of muscle details in there. I don't really know how to explain it, but, um, when you add in the um, the detail lines, it ends up looking just a little bit better like that. And then we add in the knee like so. And it's the same thing as the elbow pretty much. And then we're going to draw out the calf and shin maybe draw in the shin bone there. And then depending on how you want the leg to look, it can be either um, like triple jointed or you can just have the ankle. Normally I like to go for just having the leg with the ankle like a human foot and then have the toes kind of stretched outwards like so. Just like that. And then that would be a grounded pose. Um, this would be more of a mid-flight pose. Something along the lines of that. And then for detail on the foot, you can kind of draw a little thing for the ball of the heel, maybe put his Achilles in there and do some more tendon action like that. But yeah, so there's the kind of design for a foreleg or a foreleg and a hind leg. Um, they're not really too complicated in terms of how drawing dragons normally can go but yeah 
I mean that's pretty much that's pretty much it um, I will show you like sometimes people like to put spikes on the shoulders knees and elbows of uh, dragons so how you would do that is you would draw kind of the spike shape and then draw a little curved bottom like that to like kind of show the round roundness on the uh, bottoms of each one kind of following the roundness of the shoulder and then on the elbow it's kind of the same knee kind of the same but yeah you get the gist of it so yeah that's how you would draw dragon four legs and hind legs and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so yeah I really hope this helped you guys out if any of you out there were struggling for um, making your drawings look a little bit more realistic or making the muscles kind of look um, better um, yeah so next video will be drawing dragon wings and then I'll have a dragon tail and that should be um, that should be all for the drawing dragon tutorial um, piece by piece so then I'll have some other different videos out there for you guys and hopefully those bring you some entertainment while you're kind of bored in quarantine so yeah thanks guys for watching and I will see you in the next one